Hi, this is Julie with Three Sisters Sundries, back with another Doodlebug project. Um, I got this little book at um, the Let's Hit Get Creative Doodlebug event and decorated it there with these cute little Halloween papers. Um, and so when we had the opportunity to buy more of these little books, I got quite a few. I got some for gifts and... I got three more for me that I thought I could decorate with different seasons. So today I want to do this one in fall papers. So I got out my collection of little, little doodlebug fall things that I thought would fit in here. So let's get started. I have this six by six paper pad called Happy Harvest and it's a fairly old one. I think it's from 2013 or something. So it has really cute fall papers. So this is one of my favorites. So I think we will start with this one. Now the measurements I have are um, the little cover pages are a little bit smaller. This little frame opening is 7 eighths by 1 and 3 quarters. Um, I think... I want to put, oh, you know what, that one would be so cute. I have this little stamp of this tree. It's Well, it looks like a stamp. It's a sticker. I may just put that on white paper and stick that in as my cover page because I love that tree. So I think I will cut this one. I have my old, very old guillotine cutter here. I think I will cut this one at, I might cut this one at one inch because I think the width will take the inch, it just won't show all of it. And then this is one and a quarter. Okay, these are tiny, tiny pages and I think my sticker is probably going to overhang. Oh no, it won't. Good. I think it's just right. Oh, look at that. That is so cute. And we will slip that right into that cover page. So, there we go. That one is, oh, I think it's in all the way. Anyway, there we go. Cute little cover page. Okay. Now, I think we'll cut this one for the next page and these are one and a quarter by one and a half so that at one and a half well shoot that may be I may have to do that yeah I think this has a direction I want it going this direction so I'm gonna have to cut that let me cut this one at one and a half and then I'll cut off a quarter of an inch on this side. Okay, and then I've got I've got these little um, tokens here that say fall things. And I've got, I thought I could use a cup of cocoa on there. Or I have these little owls. Uh, let's see, maybe, uh, you know what, maybe I will use one of these little tokens. Uh, let's see, maybe I'll use the autumn one. Okay, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit because that is so tiny. Okay, I found this... Um, it is jute, colored jute by American Crafts, and it's really skinny, so I thought I have green or yellow. I think the yellow will show up best, so cut off just a little piece and hope I can thread it through. Yes, and I think I will just tie that in a little bow, and then I will Put that on with a, a glue dot or something. 
There we go. All right, we'll adjust that so it's nice and little to fit in our thing. Let me grab a glue dot. I'm going to need a mini one for that. Let me trim off my little ends of jute here. And maybe I'll grab two glue dots on that so I can get it to stay where I want it. I think I will put it just like that. So there is my first page and hopefully it won't be too fat. I have this other side here. So maybe uh, the owl is going to be too fat. Let's put on a cute little squirrel since it's acorns. We can put him on there and there we have the other side of the page. So we can just slip that in and have both sides done at the same time. Oh my goodness, these are so tiny. And they're kind of stuck together. There we go. There we go. Oh, I may need to adjust my little bow, but there we go. There's the first, the, well, I have my cover and my first page and my second page all done. So cute. So let's see what else we have. We've got lots and lots of cute papers in here. So let's get all those scraps out of the way. And let's see. I think I want to do a little teacup or hot cocoa I guess you could oh that is cute that would flash mm, that green just isn't the right green it's kind of busy Maybe just this wood grain. It would look like a table or something. And look, that is a really cute print for the back too. So I think I will do that. So I need this. Let's see, I want my wood grain going vertically. So um, one and a quarter inches this way. And one and a half this way. Actually, that other page was a little bit wide, so I think I will trim off just a hair more while I have my trimmer. Okay, and then I'm going to put this little green teacup, well, it's going to look like hot cocoa. So we're going to put... Uh, let's see, we're going to put this guy here, and I think we'll put a little spoon. And maybe even a little pink heart. There we go, and there is our next page. And I may just leave that actually I could put some um, hang on let me go see what I can find okay I found some bling I have some red and they come in these little itty bitty tiny ones and then I found some green ones and some blue ones so I think we'll just add a couple of those Okay, so I think I'll put a red one right here. In this one. And a 
green one. Oh man, these are tiny. It's not going to come off of there. Oh my goodness. We're going to put a green one right there. Maybe. Oh, now it's stuck to my finger. <sighs> okay, and then maybe one of these blue ones just in one of these other little flowers here. And that will give us some added interest to this this page. There we go. So, there we go. Oh, focus. Anyway, uh, okay, so we added our little jewels and we've got our cute little hot cocoa on the other side. So let's slip that in our book. These, these are so hard to work with, but they are going to be cute. There we go. There's our next page. Now, let's look at our papers again. See what we want to do next. Some of these are just so cute. I think I want to put an owl in. So let's see. Maybe we need that tree paper for our owl. It's cute cute one with the trees. Let's see. And cutter. Okay, let me zoom you back out just a little bit. Okay, so this also has a one-way design. So, I need the one and a quarter on my vertical cut. And one and a half right here and then just a hair smaller okay so let's get out our owls here there's some green leaves in there some orange and some red I think I want to do a little bit more contrasting so maybe our little green owl. These are little mini doodle pops. And maybe we'll try and set him so he looks like, oh, no. There we go. Then we'll be able to see a little bit of the tree around. So there's our next page. And on the back we have fall leaves. So let me see what else we could put on there. I've got these icon stickers here, or cardstock stickers. Um, could put a turkey. He would be cute on those. And I have some, I'll be right back. Okay, I have some more, some leftover um, little glitter sprinkles from a Halloween project, but there are some cute orange ones on here, so I think those will work. So let's put one of those up here on our little page. So there's our next page. Okay, oh, our little owl is getting caught. There we go. Okay. Oh my goodness. It's looking so cute. Okay, we have one page left um, of the pages. So let's see what else. I think I think I want to do this paper as just the picture because I love the cute little houses in there. Um 
I love these little houses. So I think I will try and fussy cut out one of these cute houses. Uh, I think I like this little blue one here. So I'm going to cut that one. Oh, there's one up there too. All right, so cut that straight. One out of their paper. Okay, and then let's see, let's try and get the little fence. Hmm, I don't know if we're going to get the little fence. Let's see, that's at one. I need one and a quarter. And then. One and a half this way. Yeah, I think that will work. Okay. So there's our cute little house. And we can just slip that in. But I want to put something on the back. Because the back is um, pretty um, plain. So, um, hmm. I have... What else do I have? These flares, but I think they might be too thick. I have these little fish, but I don't know that they really go in there. Or, let's see, I have a cute little fox here. Or this cute little hedgehog. Let's see, maybe we'll put this little guy right in the center. I'll just do that. Okay, so that page was fairly... And of course I put him upside down. So, gotta turn him over. Okay, make sure my house is right side up. That way. And then put him right there. And maybe I could tie a little bow. I have some... Sorry about the noise. I have some red um, of this jute. That would make a cute little bow to match him since he has the red he has the red gingham around him as a frame. So I think I will tie a teeny little bow and start out big because this stuff is really hard to tie in teeny so we'll tie a teeny little bow and maybe put that right up there so glue dots glue dots okay this is how I craft I put things everywhere and then I can't find them <laughs> so that glue dot's gonna kind of be a little bit big, so we'll tuck that in a bit so it doesn't stick to our page, our page protector. And then put that right there. That is pretty cute. So we have that one, and then our cute little house on the other side. So let's slip that one in. On this side, yeah, now I have it open. There we go. I've got to be careful to get the bow in without messing it up too much. There we go. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Okay, we need one more for there. And I have this. I have these stamps left. I could, well, I've already got a house. I've got this little fox, so I think I will find a cute paper for the little fox. <clears throat> I love, oh, I already did that one. Let's see. Hmm. 
I love these really light ones, so maybe he would look cute on there. I think I will do him on this one. Or there's also this cute gingham. I think I like the gingham. So let's trim that one down. Let's do it this way just in case. So that's inch and a quarter, just shy of that. And I won't have to trim it again. Oh, except that this paper needs to be seven eighths, and this needs to be one and a quarter. So I will need to trim this down just a tad. Okay. All right. I love that. And this little guy is going to be a tad big. So we'll have to hmm. I actually think I like the leaves. So let's put him on there and we'll just trim off the excess. And there we go. And I'll put him in there in the back cover. Oh, he is so cute. Okay, and then this came with this little chain on here, so let me just take this off. And I think I want to put a ribbon on the, oh my goodness, that barely closes. He's so, it's so fat. But I want to put a little ribbon up there. So let me go grab some. Okay, I found this cute yellow ribbon that I thought would be good. Um, I'm going to cut that on an angle there. And, uh, let's see. This ribbon might be easier to get through than the other ribbon I did. Actually, I did something tricky on the last one, and I may have to do it again. I, I peeled apart the keychain a little bit and stuck the end of the ribbon in there, and then hopefully this will keep a hold of it, and then just pulled it through this little loop, and it worked again. So, except that I'm terrorizing my ribbon here. I'll we'll have to trim a lot more off. And then, um, let's see. I'm going to cut a cute little end on it. And then just tie it in a little knot. I'll have to put some fray check on that ribbon because it frays easily, it looks like. Okay, so there's, there's my little book. Let's zoom out just a tad. Sorry. Okay, and then we'll go through each of the pages. It turned out so cute. Cute little tree and our little autumn icon or uh, token there. A little squirrel and our little hot cocoa. Our paper, uh, flowers with the little jewels. Our little owl uh, pop. Doodle pop. The little turkey with the little jewel, our cute little house, our hedgehog with the bow, and our little fox. I am really pleased with how this turned out. This is so cute. I think I'm going to hang this on my purse for the fall until Halloween, and then I will hang my little Halloween one. But I am very pleased with how this turned out. So thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.